Hello. The term reuse can mean different things to different people. So in this recording, we will talk about what we mean when we talk about reuse. The circular economy models drive us to circle tighter. The tightest loop is reuse. When we repair, remanufacture, or recycle a product, we need to invest more time, energy, and resources into these activities than if we simply reuse the product. In the case of recycling, not only must we the material be recovered and processed, but a new product needs to be made from the recovered material. Reuse extends the service life of products and reduces resource-consuming activities, which also have a negative environmental effect. We will distinguish between two types of reuse, service life extension and service life intensification. In most cases, we talk about products being reused when we bring them back into use at the end of their first service life. Imagine you want to buy an item of furniture. You could visit a second-hand shop or browse through used items on a website. The furniture you see will be pre-owned, and therefore you are engaging in reuse. Sometimes, furniture might have been used by more than one owner. In all cases, the furniture was no longer needed by its previous owner, and so it has been put up for sale. We call this kind of reuse service life extension. We may be motivated to buy pre-owned products for a number of reasons. Perhaps because they are cheaper, perhaps because they are of vintage design, or even because we often believe yesterday's products to be better made than the new ones. All these reasons have to do with how, when, and for what the products were designed. But we will talk more about this in depth in the next video. A second type of reuse activity involves the shared use of a product by a large number of users, one after the other. If you live in a large city, you might have seen places where you can rent a bicycle for a day or even just for a few hours. As a user, you no longer need to own the bicycle, but instead only get access to it for as long as you actually need to use it. We will call this type of reuse service life intensification. This has the advantage from a circular economy perspective of reducing the number of products that have to be produced in the first place, as more than one user can take advantage of the same bicycle even over the course of a single day. This form of reuse is what is commonly referred to as the sharing economy. But, as we will learn later on, not all life intensification models are the same. While used products that we find in shops or online were often not designed for use by more than one user, products intended for the sharing economy are increasingly being designed to last longer while being used by a large number of people. In the following videos, you will learn more about these design decisions and the business models behind them. Finally, it could be said that the reuse of individual parts or components of a product should also fit within the reuse category. In this course, we have decided to make things clearer by considering the reuse of components as a remanufacturing activity. So you will learn about that in week four of the course.